is Dan with SP Motorsport. On this week's product spotlight, we're gonna be going over our transmission seal kit for the 2020 Plus GT500. And it's basically taking care of some of the common issues with the transmission lines on these cars. Um, if you're reading around on Facebook or forums, you'll notice some people complaining about the cars dripping or, or leaking pretty profusely out of the, the line where it goes into the transmission case. So what we're actually gonna do today on this product spotlight is we're gonna actually go over installing them as well. So we will give you a look at the product and then we'll go into putting them in and kind of the whole process and what you need to do it. Tool wise, you're gonna need an eight millimeter socket and ratchet and you're also gonna need a pick or something that you can reach up into the transmission case to pull the seal out with. And that's basically it. It's very plug and play, very simple. Um, you don't need any specialty tools or anything to do this. Um, you will need something to catch the fluid with because you're either gonna have to put the fluid back in that you, that you lost or top it off with new fluid. All right guys, step one, you don't actually have to do this step, but I do recommend it because it'll give you more slack on the lines. There's two 10 millimeter bolts here. Like I said, this is optional. Take these two out and it's basically one of the clamps for the lines so that when you pull the lines out of the transmission right here, it gives you a little bit more room to work with. So we'll go ahead and take these off. All right guys, there's a shield that goes up in here to shield the trans wiring and lines and stuff from the exhaust. Um, we, you don't have to actually take this off to get to the lines. Um, we did it for video purposes and obviously if you want as much access as possible, go ahead and take this off. There's two eight mil bolts back here and there's a 10 millimeter nut that goes on here and then this comes right off. So go ahead and do that. And then just to get you acquainted with some of the things, uh, on the transmission obviously these are the lines and the seals are going to go in here these are eight millimeter bolts and then you got your transmission fluid drain here and back here on the pan and then the fill is actually up here about no almost midway up on the transmission um, we're hoping we'll be able to just pull these lines off of this car and put the seals in and then pull this plug out and if you still have fluid coming out of this hole here, that means that we should be good. We shouldn't need to add any more fluid because that's kind of the whole idea. You fill it up, the fluid starts to run out of this hole. So we'll go ahead and get these lines off and then we're gonna uh, show you kind of what the seals and everything look like. All right guys, before we pull these out, we're gonna kind of, I'm gonna kind of go over what the whole idea behind um, the seal fixes and why they leak and do what they do um, If you if you look here Obviously you have a single bolt flange that's attached to your hard line um, this flange Whenever they're installed on the line they shove them on and crimp basically around it um, creating it like a, 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 a tight you know, I don't know what you want to call it, like a tight mount for the flange against the line. So what happens is though, the reason that they leak is this flange ends up being not quite straight or parallel with the line. So whenever this bolt, the, the bolt that holds the flange up in there, whenever this eight mil is tightened down, usually they're not, they're not square. That's why some of the cars leak and some of them don't. Um, some of the some of the uh, flanges when they crimp them on there, they'll be straighter than others. So, in this in this case, this car did not leak. Um, if you look though, you can tell kind of what I'm talking about. This side of the flange is nice and tight, right here against the the mounting surface, and on this side, I can actually take the pick and stick it in there. And then as you bring it around, you'll see it gets tight. And what's actually happening? is this line when you tighten this down the lines actually getting pulled like this and the lines essentially crooked in that bore so when you tighten it down it goes like that 
and the seals that are in here they're they're quite large but they allow for movement well i think what happens is on a lot of these cars there's too much deflection this flange is bent a little too much and when you tighten it down whenever they did it at the factory that line will end up being too crooked and it'll turn like that and allow it to leak past the seal that's a lot of the issues that we're we're finding and seeing with these cars so really it's not really an issue with the machining on the transmission end it's actually the production how the how these lines are produced and physically sealed uh, into the case so what we basically did is we came up with a way to uh, fix the deflection issue and seal and, and seal it all at the same time so um, what I'm gonna do here is kind of show you what the seal looks like that we came up with um, and kind of how it works the seal is obviously a billet piece and we'll show you better uh, what the factory seal looks like you know once we get these lines pulled out you'll see but uh, essentially what we're doing with this billet seal and the way that it's o-ringed internally and externally is once you get this seal put on this hard line and you get it back up into the bore there is no way for the line to become deflected so the the billet aspect of the seal keeps everything lined up so even when you tighten this down it can pull the line as crooked as it wants and it will not affect the o-ringing sealing because of the fact that there is no forgiveness in the billet and it keeps everything lined up so it's a it's a fairly simple um it's a fair, fairly simple fix uh obviously you know the design tolerances and everything you know come into huge play but and even just the the type of o-ring but it, it's a somewhat simple fix for the customer and that's what we wanted to do we didn't want the customer to have to um, there's there's some kits on the market where the customer is either going to have to cut the line um, back here and then they make uh, AN adapters that go in here and then you have to do a whole new piece of line. Uh, we didn't want to do that. We wanted to give the customer something a lot simpler that actually fixes the problem and then you don't have to cut the car up. So let's go ahead and we'll get these lines pulled off and we'll show you the seals quick and then we'll get these installed. This is going to be. Not too horrible yet. So there's actually, in this transmission, these three bolts right here, there's actually a filter inside here. Um, I don't know if it's serviceable through Ford or if that is a Tremec only thing. Um, Tremec is the manufacturer of this DCT. In the GT 500s um, but there is actually a filter inside here so what we're gonna do this is the one part you need to be very careful with the, the actual rubber seal is up inside this bore so you don't want to scratch use a pick or something similar you don't want to obviously scratch the bore because we're gonna use that um, to seal the o-rings in our seal so you just got to be careful This one is really, really stuck in. There we go. So, and then that's that's your seal there. It's, it's a pretty thick rubber seal. And then there is a to help push on the seal here. There's actually a plastic washer that's tapered and keeps tension on there. You're gonna to wanna to remove that as well. So you're gonna take all the factory sealing stuff off. Uh, and you're gonna go ahead and use some of the fluid that came out of here.
to lube up the external seals. And then we'll go ahead and get this on the line here. And then kind of just, just wiggle it around a little bit to get the inside seals to seat. And then it'll pop on like that. And then literally all you do is put this back up in the bore. You're probably going to need to move the line around a little to get it to kind of fully go in. All right, guys, now that you get the line all seated there, go ahead and throw your bolt back in. And we'll tighten that down. And then, obviously, we'll move on to the rear line and then spray it off. Clean everything up real good. And then once we get everything all cleaned up, we'll fire the car up, heat everything up, let it pump all the fluid through the transmission, and then we'll pull the fill plug out and see if any fluid comes out. If no fluid comes out, you'll probably end up having to tap, top it off. All right, guys, that's the end of this week's product spotlight on our 2020 plus gt500 transmission seal kit if you want to you can call us with any questions you can email us uh, the product is live on the site so if you need that for your car and you know anybody else that needs it for their car let them know and we'll see you on the next one